I think in my case, um, companies reach out to me, and and I think what really contributes to that is that I consistently post my arts on on Instagram, and it, it it can reach other people when your art is like relevant because people tend to to feature you on their stories, repost your arts, and I guess that's the way to reach other people. Uh, hi, I'm Mika I, I'm a lettering artist. I'm from the Philippines. I'm currently a college student um, studying public health. Um, I started lettering when I was 13. I started um, using Sharpies and poster paints because resources were limited that time. Um, eventually, I ventured out to high-quality materials like um, uh, watercolors and gouache paint. And then um, just last year, I bought an iPad Pro and an Apple Pencil, which I think are two great investments for artists like me and it really helped me expand my range of art artistic styles and um, it just made my life easier. One of the greatest skills that I'm, try I'm still trying to enhance now is the skill of digital marketing because I own a business, local business, which is Fanshack. And especially during the pandemic, most of the advert most um, the best way to reach um, um, our market audience is through online, and um, it requires mastering the how 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 the platforms work. Like Instagram has this algorithm when wherein you um um. It depends on the on how much you reach during the first hour of your post, and if you reach a lot during that time, you tend to get more people to see your post. And I think another skill is um, um, letter the lettering skill, like how to use Procreate and maximize its features. Because and I try and I try to learn during the pandemic through Skillshare. Um, in order to build a nice portfolio, you really need um, patience because in my case, um, um, I didn't get that much access to resources. So when, when, um, um, when, when I was still um, starting, it really frustrated me to see other people's work. Like they're so advanced and I wanted to get that um, product. but. I'm just starting, so really, um, the best tip I could give is to trust the process because great, um, consistent practice will never fail you. And then once you get that portfolio that you wanted, um, you will really appreciate your growth as an artist because because that's what happened for me. Like I can still see my post um, seven years back then from Behans and. I just really appreciated how my styles evolved from traditional to eventually digital, and how I how I discovered new fo new fonts to make as well. I usually use Pinterest, like I create a board. Um, I have two boards that I really use. One is for hand lettering designs. And another are color palettes because I really suck at, <laughs> at looking for colors. And so I also follow other artists on Instagram like Lauren Holm, Ann Chen, and Stephanie Lin or lettering artists like me. I also follow lettering organizations like um, Type Gal, Women Who Design, um, Girls Making Magic um, because they usually post and feature other artists that are in my field so I can gain inspiration from those artists. 
and they also keep me up to date on the trends like um, what quotes are in for now and I guess um, an additional for that is that I also get to keep myself updated on the current events in different countries because I also get to emerge with the, um, um, communicate with other artists. It's not really my priority to reach out to other companies because because um, art is a side hobby and a side hustle for me. And I think that, and I think that um, right now, since I am just rekindling my talent because I stopped when college started, so yeah, um, I think in my case, um, companies reach out to me, and and I think what really contributes to that is that I consistently post my arts on. On Instagram, and it, it it can reach other people when your art is like relevant because people tend to to feature you on their stories, repost your arts, and I guess that's the way to reach other people. My long term plan is to eventually incorporate my skill uh, with my desired degree in the medical field. So, with health education playing a huge role in my field and the internet being the best platform to reach the public, I think that I, I plan to use my knowledge that I gained from my degree to create and design informative pieces that are also visually stimulating because people tend to stop scrolling if your design is pretty. For example, um, um, last month, I created a piece that says wearing is caring and and a lot of people shared that which is nice because it means that it's reaching more people and and as a public health um, student I think that um, that's that's the goal which is to reach more people and to educate them more so other than having making a pretty design, I think it should be relevant as well. So, um, yeah, I also plan to continue expand, expanding my followers in social media to increase my influence, um, to share more of what I said earlier, like the things I, 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 I'm an advocate of. Um, I think that advice would be to simply trust the process because I really started um, in this lettering career with so much frustrations like I couldn't afford this, I think it's, but, um, it's putting such a bad quality to my work and all that stuff but I think with conti continuous practice and um, continuous learning you would you would eventually get there and but the but the learning never stops though so so that's something you should appreciate instead of perfection you should really focus on your growth not on um perfecting something yeah